like to hit shots on the edges. I like to play shots down these lines. If this is where the set is, I want to hit a ball here. I want to hit a ball here. I want to hit the push over here. And if they cover that and they cover this, okay, well, that's not covered anymore. And now I hit that. Now, the thing with hitting this shot is I often don't know if it's open. I can see a defender in front of me. There's nobody over there and there's nobody over there. He's probably back there, so I can't hit that shot, but I'm not really sure. He could be on the way around to cover this. But in front of me, when I play a push, I always know. If there's a person standing here, it's very easy to say he's standing here. I'm gonna hit him past him over here. Easy game, okay? So I'm gonna hit a lot of pushes, and I hit a lot of pushes, because I always know exactly where that defender is. It's very seldom that I have two guys stacking in front of me, and I don't see one of them on my push. I always get to see exactly what is defending my push. So if there's a guy right here, maybe I hit a push on this line. If he's right here, I hit the push on this line. And having all of these pushes is very important because I also like to hit wrap. And if I'm never hitting push, I never hit push, they just sit on this. So I have to hit push sometimes so that I can hit the very important wrap, which everybody is going to leave open for me because I hit so much push. Now, can I get, Jakob, can I get you to come toss for me again? We're gonna talk about, there are really two different kinds of sets we're gonna get in games. <clears throat> Sets from the right, sets from the left. Sets from the right are gonna be my personal favorite because we get to the advanced part of the lesson and that is trajectory selection, okay? I don't always wanna hit the same height push. When I hit push, I'm gonna to come to the net, I'm gonna drop the shoulder, I'm gonna wind up and I'm gonna fire and stay on top of the ball. Okay, how much on top of the ball am I gonna stay? Sometimes I'm gonna hit it here, sometimes here, sometimes I'll cut it off here, sometimes I hit it up here. Whenever I have a set from the right side, the ball drifts over and I get plenty of choices. So give me a set, Jakob. Okay, give me a set. Right, so I got to choose between whether or not I hit it, yep, hit it here or whether or not I hit it here. And I get completely different reactions. So if I have somebody low in front of me, I'm not gonna hit the one from the bottom and nice and low, I'm gonna hit the high ball. If I've got somebody you know, right here ready to do this number, okay, we're gonna hit the low one, hit it under it. Does this make sense? Okay, uh, when we hit wrap, a lot of these ideas are less important. Uh, not because they are not applicable, but because I don't know where he's standing because he's behind me, he's over there somewhere. So when I come up to the net, my entire goal hitting wrap is how far can we pull it? I'm gonna try and pull it as far as I can. You wanna give me a set? We're gonna wrap this. My goal is sit there and pull it back from where I came from. Okay, so if I'm coming from here, I wanna get it back to this angle. He gave me a nice set and I got to really get a hold of it. Let me pull it way back from, okay, I'm coming up to over there. Hard for the defenders to know how far is he going to wrap. And that's really the value of that. So I think these two shots, we'll go back to complimentary shots, are the two big pieces. So best hitter in the world, probably Rahul, got three shots. Hits the push high, hits the push low, hits the wrap. That's all you need. Easy game. Um, I would say get a few sets, uh, excuse me, a few hits in of like soft toss on pushes. Try to hit the push chorn, the boom ball push. Try to hit the low push. Try to hit that big wrap. Maybe hit each of them a few times and then play some pickup. I will talk about <clears throat> sets. If somebody, if you know the people at your net, are great at hitting already and can kind of already hit these shots, scoop back. Don't toss it to him from here or where Jakob was. Toss it to him from, you know, 15 feet out. Let's see the push, you know? If this is newer, you haven't necessarily tried to hit that low push before, you know, just using those fingertips, just staying on top of the ball. Toss from here, make it a little bit easier. I think flicks can be useful, but I think largely like most of hitting is just showmanship. And if you just keep swinging hard, you're gonna have a lot more value than hitting flicks. I mean, great showmanship out of flicks. They look sick. I mean, you come up to the net and you give one of these. 
and you whiff it and it looks bad, but I mean, when you pull it past Jakob, it looks sick. Let's see if we can hit one. Okay, great. But a lot of that could easily be done with this as well. We'll get the exact same set here. Always gonna be a, a valuable shot. Just hit the run through push. Um, yeah, I think run through shots, good. I think a lot of the applications for flicks, pretty specialized. You'll need one if you play assistive touch. They're probably gonna cover your wrap and your push pretty well. You might need a flick, but until then you're probably good. Cool. So repeat around the net and try to use push up. Thank you. Definitely is a less exciting 